Hi, I'm Pete. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my workshop. This is video number two in my series, How to Build a Trestle Table. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. And if you do, please remember to hit like and please remember to subscribe. Now, let's get started. In the first video of this series, I detailed my client's desire for a rustic farmhouse trestle table. In that video, I detailed the design parameters and the building of the tabletop. In this video, I'll focus on the trestle table base. After multiple consultations, here's the design that my client agreed to. With the cutting plan complete, it's now time to mill some lumber. The first step is to rip the rough timbers to four and a half inches wide on the table saw. The six inch joiner gives us a flat edge and a square face. Next, it's off to the thickness planer for multiple passes. It takes quite a few passes to get the boards down to our thickness of one and a half inches. I cut the boards to final length at the miter saw. Once the pieces are cut, it's time for assembly. The first step is to glue up the horizontal support pieces. The support pieces are two pieces of white oak laminated together. This trestle table will be located on a three season porch, so I'm using tight bond three wood glue. I spread the glue uniformly, then clamp the pieces in place. Once clamped, I let the glue set up overnight. Once the glue dries, it's time to add the vertical support pieces. The vertical supports will rest in a three quarter inch deep dado. I mark the center line on each of the horizontal support pieces and set up my dado blade at the table saw. When cutting the dado, it's important to sneak up on the final dimension. The dado's not wide enough, time for another pass. I finally get a nice snug fit. After some sanding, this will be perfect. Time for some glue and clamping, and we'll let it sit for a couple hours. Once the glue is dried, it's time to unclamp and do a dry fit with the vertical support pieces. The vertical pieces form a three and a half inch mortise for the stretcher. More on that in the next video. I do a dry fit to make sure everything fits flush and square. Once I'm satisfied with the fit, it's time for glue up. Once again, liberal amounts of tight bond three wood glue. Here's where being patient, taking extra time and making square cuts at the miter saw really pay off. If your cuts are even just a little bit off, you'll have a hard time getting the boards to line up flush. Once the pieces are all glued, it's time to clamp it up and let it sit overnight. With the glue set up, I noticed that my edges aren't perfectly flush. Time for some fine tuning with the block plane. Next, I get my palm sander and some 80 grit sandpaper. The sanding removes any final imperfections. The final pieces for installation are the angled cross member supports and the base feet. The angled supports are cut at the miter saw. They are then glued and screwed in place. The screws are countersunk and the heads will be covered by plugs, which I'll detail in the next video.
The cross member supports are all installed and here's the final result. It's now on to making the feet. The feet for these bases will be three quarters of an inch thick. I have some leftover pieces from the tabletop that are one and a quarter inches thick. Multiple passes through the thickness planer will get us down to that three quarters of an inch. Now that we have our desired thickness, it's time to cut the pieces at the miter saw. More tight bond 3 wood glue and some clamping in place. Let the glue set up for a couple hours, and here's the final result. Thanks again for stopping by, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to be alerted to follow-up videos in this series on how to build the trestle table. I'll have more videos posted soon. See you then.